the Lord Jesus give you his peace, my precious YouTube family. I came into prayer very late tonight because I was trying to answer some rather urgent messages from different people who subscribe to our channel. It is Thursday, April the 9th, 2015 at 5.28 a.m. After uh, coming into prayer immediately without having been more than a few minutes with the Lord in worship, I saw us dancing as I usually do, but this time in black. The color that we appear in or that he appears in to me and I appear in very often signifies the mood and of the message. I was wearing a black widow's garment and Jesus was wearing a black widower's garment. And when I saw this, I knew immediately what it signified. I just, my spirit bore witness to it without him saying anything. But then he began the death of America, spiritually and physically. He continued, you know well what is being played on the surface. Saber rattling, exercises near the North Pole, all of that is just for show. The man people call your president, the man of stealth and intrigue, who gains office by deceit, is merely playing to the masses, so that when destruction comes it will look authentic, when in reality it is no more than a superficial show to cover for the destruction of all sovereignties, that only one may dominate the world. They're talking about the one world government. He has done a stellar job of destroying you, America, and this I have allowed because you have played the harlot and slept with every passerby, while I, your husband, stood by as each had their turn in our bed. And now what shall I say? The ten horns which you saw, and the beast, will hate the harlot, and will make her desolate and naked, and will eat her flesh, and will burn her up with fire. For I have put it in their hearts to execute my purpose, and by giving their kingdom to the beast, until my words will be fulfilled. That is indeed what I say. Nonetheless, I am still with you, even as Hosea waited on Gomer to finish her whoring and grew weary of her paramours. That word means secret lovers. Yes, indeed, I am still here, America, and when you seek me with your whole heart, you will indeed find me, ready to reconcile you to myself, says the Lord your God. So in the heat of your injuries, turn to me, and I will give you comfort. I will wash and medicate your burns. I will dress them with clean linens. I will lead you by the right way and restore the ruined homesteads to you. Yes, you will recover. You will again be faithful to me. I speak not to the detestable worshippers of Baal, whom your capital city was built for. No, I speak not to you, for you shall be utterly destroyed even in your underground country. You who feel so secure shall die in your underground coffin. You I consider no more, for you shall be no more in my way. I speak to the hearts of America that continue to hold the vision I inspired. Those who refused to sleep with foreigners. Those who could not overcome the greedy ones who held dominance and sway over a shallow and gullible people bent on living for their comforts. I am with you. Go forward in courage. I myself will be with you. And in the end, what has been planned for you will come to naught. And again you will rise from the ashes to succor the whole world and be in accord with my kingdom as it comes to free all men from the oppressor. My peace be with you, sons and daughters of America, who hold to the vision of righteousness. Crippling blows shall you receive, but I will restore and find my pleasure in you once again as your country returns to me, one nation under God, under the God who suffers with you, the God who loves you and bestowed great beauty on your land, and the God who surely will restore you. Hold fast to these words, for they are faithful and true. And that is the end of tonight's message. So the Lord give you his peace and his strength and his courage 
as we move forward into history and what he has planned for us. Amen.